Hi, I'm René Bourdage, and this is The Hollywood Observer, a series of video tips on independent film financing. Today, we will discuss how smart investors make sure they get a better return on their investment. So basically, why some film investors are more successful than others? First of all, there is an obsession from these investors to look at producers that are achieving balance between story, when I mean story, I mean a great story well told. Well told means that there are great skills at the producer's level to deliver a great story. The other element in the balance is a measurable audience. The producer needs to be aware of what the audience is and be able to provide you with some comparables, some analytics on what exactly the audience is and where it is located. And the third pillar of that balance is making the film at the right budget for a reasonable profit. Smart investors spread the risk. Don't put all your eggs in the same basket. You have to diversify, you have to avoid investing in blind slates, and also you have to be selective about what project you will accept. You obviously have to learn to say no to be in film financing. It's also very important to ask questions. The first question you should ask a producer is, why do you want to make that film? You'll be surprised the answers you'll get. You also need to know his vision as a producer. And of course, you need to determine if his interests are aligned with yours. You know, when you attend uh, the closing of a film, you will notice that a lot of people are involved, whether they're lawyers, distributors, other investors, collection management agreement uh, companies, a bond company will be present, talent agencies will represent their uh, stars and directors and so forth, some other lenders, banks. You as an investor need to be represented by your own independent advisors, whether it's an entertainment lawyer and or an independent film advisor. But it's really important that you have your own advisors to a transaction. Smart investors also look for optimizing soft monies. These are usually government incentives. They take different forms, rebates, tax credits, and they apply often on the below the line, but sometimes also above the line. They are sometimes transferable, sometimes refundable. They are sometimes also available for visual effects. So you need to understand what are the available incentives to reduce the cost of the film. If the, the film costs less money, you'll be uh, in a better position to recoup. One of the things I say to my investors is don't fall in love. And the best and the smartest never fall in love with a project or with a talent because they want to keep their rational thinking, their independence of thought. Elite investors always try to find a sweet spot in a transaction. There are different types of investment. For instance, you can be an equity investor, you could decide to finance the tax incentives or to provide a loan for the gap or the mezzanine as we call it. Or you could be a senior lender, usually uh, that position is, uh, is taken by the bank. You need to protect yourself, so ask for a completion bond, ask for a chain of title. Obviously you won't be able to get an errors and omission insurance if you don't have a chain of title. But there are also other types of insurance, such as uh, essential elements, that you also need to uh, have in place to protect your investments. Uh, we also recommend investors to use an escrow agreement uh, for disbursing their uh, capital. The smartest investors always look for the waterfall recoupment schedule. They understand who gets repaid before them. And usually, they are in the first priority. So you need to understand how much revenue needs to be made for you to get your return. In conclusion, you start with a good story. Make sure that you understand the producer has a balance between story, audience, and profitability. Make sure you diversify and you remain selective. Ask questions, leverage tax incentives, retain independent advisors, consider an escrow agreement to negotiate your deal, Track costs thoroughly, in particular after you've disbursed your capital to make sure that costs uh, are tracked. And also understand the waterfall recoupment. 
I know for many of you this is a lot to digest, but all this information is provided in more details in the book I wrote this year called Investing in Films, the 12.5 Secrets Elite Investors Keep for Themselves. I believe it's the first book specifically written for investors, whether you're a high net worth individual, a hedge fund manager, a private equity fund executive, or a member of a family office, you'll find this information very convenient. There's also a, a glossary of probably 20 pages on different terms on the jargon of our industry. So you can find the book on Amazon. It's available on paperback and Kindle edition. Well, this is it for today. If you want to get in touch with us, go to our website, elevadomedia.com, or write us an email, subscribe to our newsletter, and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.